Porras Good in ball. space. Can Good he ball. get? Can he get across in? Good ball. Harry Kane. Yes. yes! Harry oh. Kane has scored, and Spurs have taken the lead. That's how you like it. Pedro Porras with a brilliant ball in. Ooh. Spurs have the lead. Come on, come on, boys. <sighs> Welcome back to Morning Footy. Well, that is Ben and Simeon from We Are Tottenham TV. Uh, a bunch of their videos have gone viral, and they are joining us here today on Morning Footy. Guys, great to see you. Thanks for being on the show. You guys seem happier this weekend than you were a couple weekends ago <laughs> after that Liverpool No, we're, you that guys happened. are lucky that we didn't open the segment <laughs> with the should've. Liverpool reaction. <laughs> we should have. <laughs> no, Absolutely I, think, I think you've been kind to us today, guys. So thank you very much. But it was really good to get, uh, you know, three points on the board and also the first clean sheet since uh, February. So I think uh, things to be positive about this weekend, that's for sure. A lot to be positive about, including Harry Kane. With that goal, he becomes the second leading uh, all-time goal scorer in Premier League history, overtaking Wayne Rooney. What did, what did that moment mean to you guys? Yeah, it meant a lot, and it just goes to show the class of the player. He's been doing it week in, week out, year in, year out. It's amazing that when he first broke into the team, a lot of rival fans were calling him one-season wonders, and he's not going to last. And now we're sitting here with him, second highest ever Premier League goal scorer of all time, which is an incredible achievement. It's only a matter of time before he gets that top spot as well. So I think he's cementing his status as not just a Tottenham legend, but a Premier League legend. So you guys think he's leaving or not? Oh... Oh, you had to bring that up. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the million dollar question at the moment, to oh. be honest. And, and when, when you look at it right, I think that he's earned the right to go wherever he wants to go if the club can't match his ambitions. And I think there's a lot of question marks over Tottenham right now about where we're, what we're going to be doing next season. We don't have a manager. We don't have a sporting director. Things are just not looking good for the future right now. Um, so I can completely understand if Harry Kane does want to leave. Obviously, I want to keep him here for the rest of his career because he's an absolute Tottenham legend. But to be honest, I can completely understand if he does want to leave at this stage because we're not matches, matching his ambition at the moment. That's just the pure facts of the whole thing. But the reality is he is talking about the future of Tottenham. He keeps talking about next season so hopefully that's an indication that he is thinking about staying at Tottenham whether he signs that contract that's going to be the deal break because whether Tottenham are going to cash in on him or not so but he does seem to be have his eyes on next season for Tottenham and when we get a new manager in hopefully that can go some way to convincing him to stay the U.S. men's national team and Tottenham have something in common they both don't have managers uh, I, I'm, I'm on the record of saying I think we need a, a manager from overseas, someone with an experience with winning pedigree. What would you guys want from Tottenham? What would make you happy? Is it, is it a, someone who's been in the system, who knows the club well, or would you want someone who's had that winning pedigree that maybe is not familiar with the English Premier League? Well, we've had enough of winning pedigree, I think, for the last few managers, and it hasn't quite worked out. So I think it just goes to show you can't just throw a winning manager in and expect results. You've got to have the right structure and system in place. And I think Tottenham fans at the moment, um, we don't want to see the football that we've been seeing over the past few years, even though it's been kind of the narrative has been it's winning football. I think Tottenham want to enjoy their football again. They want to play a more, pre um, a more open, expansive style of football. So we are more attacking style, throw caution to the wind. Our team motto is to dare is to do and the way the team has been playing has been nothing like that and we haven't lived up to our own ideals and I think Tottenham want to get back to that so we want a more attacking manager we want to see some attacking football at Tottenham and I think the managers Tottenham have been linked to um, maybe show that and I think having Conte Mourinho at your club for the past four years I think we've been ground into the uh, we've been kind of like into the ground basically with all this pragmatic football and it's been hard to watch so I think we definitely need to change that in terms of uh, pointing internally obviously Mason is in charge right now he's doing a decent job and I think a lot of Tottenham fans have taken to him and maybe considered him but I do think we need someone who with a bit more experience um, of managing a, a top football club not necessarily winning but definitely one who can bring that attacking football with the with the big players that we have at this club yeah, look, the